What is social judgment theory? It is a process of how we judge a certain situation based on how we react with a message or idea. Is it about judging someone? Well, it's not about judging someone. If you want to understand how this theory works, this presentation will help you to learn more about social judgment theory. The social judgment theory was first developed in 1960s by Muzaffar Sharif, Carolyn Sharif, and Carl Hevlan. Social judgment theory explained how a single information or idea can change our attitude and how it affects our decision making. It helps predict how successful persuasion will be by relating how close or far the message is to the help by the person you are trying to persuade. Just like when your classmate persuades you to join in a club organization in the school. How you react in the decision you made with the persuading is how this theory identify which category of your behavior falls on. Social judgment theory consists of three categories. Latitude of acceptance. The message or idea is acceptable and can be considered. Latitude of rejection. The message or idea is unacceptable and perceived unreasonable. Latitude of non-commitment. The message or idea is neither acceptable nor reasonable. The sender acts as a persuader and the receiver acts as the anchor of the theory whether if he will have a change of attitude with the persuasion and a judgment tell process whether to accept or reject or don't have a commitment. The receiver have the freedom to decide based on their judgment and ego involvement and anchor of their action in accordance to latitude of acceptance, latitude of rejection and latitude of non-commitment. Sender implies a message in a verbal or non-verbal form to persuade the receiver. To put it in a nutshell, social judgment theory is about the attitude change, persuasion, mediated by judgmental processes and effects. That's it. I hope you learned a lot today. Thank you for watching.